Here's how to change brake fluid on a 99 Toyota Camry with four wheel disc brakes. What you'll need to flush the brake fluid is a funnel to pour the new brake fluid in, an old bucket to put the old brake fluid, a water bottle with a hole on the top along with some clear tubing, 316 inch uh, inner diameter, some brake lubricant to lube up the bleeder screws, a turkey baster to suck out the old fluid, an 8mm box end wrench to loosen up the bleeder screws, some DOT3 brake fluid, uh, a little bit of WD-40 to loosen up your brake bleeder screws, some brake cleaner to clean up, a rag, a tire iron or an impact gun to take off your lug nuts, of course some jack stands and a floor jack. And you might also need a hood prop if yours aren't working like many Camrys of this vintage. So this is the master cylinder. I'm going to first start by removing the cap and using a baster to suck out all of the old fluid. Make sure you don't get any of this on your paint. Pull out the filter. Next I'm going to use some DOT3 brake fluid and refill the system. Put the cap back on to keep out moisture. Next I'm going to jack up the back of the vehicle and put it on jack stands. I'm going to take off the rear wheels. This is my bleeder screw. I'm going to spray it down with a little bit of penetrating fluid. I'm going to take my box end wrench, 8mm, put it over the bleeder screw. And then take my 316 inch inner diameter hose and put it over the bleeder screw. Nice and tight. Good idea to use a little bit of brake lubricant and put it on the threads of your bleeder screw to stop air from getting in the system. The other end of this tube I'm going to run to a water bottle for which I drilled a hole in the lid. I'm going to push it through and make sure it goes down. There's some brake fluid in there already. Into the brake fluid. I'm going to set this on the ground. And I've routed the tube up through the strut tower so that any air bubbles can get trapped up at the top and not come back into my piston. I'm going to open the bleeder screw by turning it counterclockwise. I've actually had to remove this bleeder screw because it's all clogged up. So I'm going to go clean this up and put this back. Now that I've got my bleeder screw all cleaned up, you can just use some caliper lube, put it on the threads. and then reinstall the bleeder screw. I'm going to open the bleeder screw just a little bit here. You can see fluid starting to come out. With the bleeder screw open, I'm going to pump the brake pedal. I put a brick under here so that the pedal doesn't go all the way down. Keep bleeding the brakes until the fluid color turns nice and clean and all of the dirty fluid is in the container. Now that all the old fluid is out and the fluid coming out of the tube is nice and clear, I'm going to close off my bleeder screw. And then I can disconnect my tube. It's important to check the brake fluid after you've pumped the pedal a few times and top it up as necessary. I'm going to use some brake cleaner to clean up the area here.
Repeat this procedure on the other wheels. I've started with the one furthest from the master cylinder, which is the rear right wheel. Then we're going to move over to the rear left wheel. And then the passenger front wheel and then the driver side wheel. Top off the brake fluid reservoir to the level that it was before you change your fluid. Close that up and you should be all done. So just a quick recap. Remember that brake fluid absorbs moisture. So you want to make sure that you keep your master cylinder and your brake fluid bottle closed all the time. And also make sure you don't get the stuff on your paint. You have to wipe it off as soon as possible. Also remember that when you are pumping your brake pedal to use a brick because the master cylinder is only used to traveling a certain distance and we use a brick to prevent it from being floored and also the brake breeder screws if yours is like mine and it was all clogged up you might have to take them out completely clean them up with a dremel tool or a wire brush or a pick blow them out with some compressed air and put them back in and bleed your brakes I'm going to start it up, pump the brakes a few times, and we can double check the fluid and go for a test drive.